Hey everyone, uh, just a video in regards to the Acer Nitro 5 laptop that I own. It is the uh, 10th generation 10300H with the RTX 3060. Noticing quite quickly that it's, it's actually hitting a, a thermal limit. Um, and even though this processor, I believe, uh, can now put 45 watts, um, it's very quickly hitting a thermal limit. Um, so it's obviously causing uh, the, the package to to lower the wattage um, so you can see here uh, I've just got the benchmark running in the background I'm not really doing anything but you can see the package TDP here is it is only sitting at 30 watts and it is thermal throttling thermal throttling here so you've got 92 kilo, uh, 92 degrees on the package uh, near max uh, CPU utilization so what I've found is that uh, I'll just go through the power modes just quickly. So we've got the power saver mode. So if we click on power saver, uh, you'll see the package TDP goes to 15 watts. Uh, in the balance, it, it will jump around a little bit, but it may sit, it then kind of sits in the pocket of 30 to 33 watts. Um, but obviously, as soon as I move that into the, the balanced Acer optimized, uh, inverted commas, um, yeah, you can see the package going up to 30 watts and then the thermal uh, throttle and kicking in straight away. And obviously if we go to high performance mode, there's, there's no point doing high performance mode because all you're doing is potentially just generating some more heat. Uh, so what I found is um, when we're working in a power saver mode and your package is only outputting 15 watts, um, you do obviously get a little bit less frames per second. Uh, however, um, you do get a significant temperature benefit. Uh, so I'll just run through the numbers quickly. I've just got it up in Notepad. Uh, so from a numbers perspective, at running at 15 watts, um, average FPS was 91. CPU max temperature is 71 degrees, 69 degrees on the GPU. Uh, and then that's just your max um, system draw. In the balance setting, so as I said, I put in here 33 watts, but yeah, it's it's more likely in the range of 30 to 33 watts. Uh, the FPS obviously has a, a jump from 91 to 101, but the temperature is a marked difference. So we're talking about 23 degrees before we hit thermal throttle. Um, GPU temperature goes up a little bit, and obviously the corresponding increase in uh, the profile from the package of 15 watts to 30 to 33 brings the total system draw up to 170. So the high performance mode supposedly sets the processor package processor up to 70 watts, but obviously it very quickly hits thermal throttle, uh, and the, the max temperatures and the GPU temperatures are just about the same. So what I want to talk about here is in regards to potentially using um, so maybe looking, trying to work in between this 15 and, and 30, 33 watts, what can you potentially do here without going to do throttle stop or anything like that, uh, or any, any BIOS settings or anything like that. So what I've tried to use is, is downloading the Intel Extreme uh, utility uh, and running the package at 25 watts and disabling any turbo boost short power that may be running. Um, so, and what I've ended up getting was an FPS of around 99 FPS. Um, the temperature of the CPU was at 81 degrees and there was no thermal throttling whatsoever. GPU, kind of the same temperature. It's within a variance of error. So 71, 72 degrees. Um, so the GPU is pretty standard in terms of what the temperatures are uh, when it comes to the output. Uh, so yeah, so working extreme um, utility at 25 watts, disabling the short power and making the turbo boost max power at 25 watts. Um, that's kind of your, your in-between territory where we're not going as high as thermal throttling, but you're getting, you know, you're getting 95, 97% of the performance um, that you'd get. So I'll show you how to do that. It's quite simple. So we're just moving over to the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Uh, we're scrolling down here to we go turbo boost short power max enable we want to disable this so this will this drop down here will gray out and then the turbo boost power max obviously it's currently set at 70 watts which is kind of the out of out of the box settings we want to change that to 25 watts 
and then we want to apply. So this is pretty locked down. You know, there's not much you can do here or the default BIOS settings, but set it at 25 watts um, and you will get, you know, if all things are being equal, you'll see a drop in CPU temperature and you'll get, you'll still get 90, you know, you'll still get a very, very close to the FPS that you're expecting to get if you're operating on any of those Acer balanced or high performance settings and you're not taking the, the performance, potential performance hit that you are getting it when you're running it in power saver mode. So yeah, if you're not not fussed about M, you know, getting the maximum FPS, easy method would be just working the power saver setting. If you want to try and eke out a bit more FPS while not having those absolutely cooking temperatures that you get out of any of these Intel balanced or high performance, I'd work with the 25 watt uh, out of the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Um, and just for giggles, I did the 30 watt setting. Um, same thing, short boost power, a turbo boost short power max was disabled at 30 watts. Um, yeah, I was virtually almost getting the identical frames per second. Um, again, with a corresponding increase in temperature, but again, this was not thermal throttling. This was staying at 85 degrees kind of all day, every day. Um, so yeah, so this is just a, a quick video uh, in regards to utilizing the Intel Extreme uh, tuning utility, uh, just to try and manage those temperatures a little better on the, on the Nitro 5 with the 10th generation i5, because it's clearly the, the cooling solution that's, that Acer have put in this model is, is not good enough to sustain the, the true power of uh, the two wattage of, of the 10300 series, um, because there's no way, you know, you, you can't even handle the package at 30 to 33 watts, let alone the 45 watts, what it's actually designed uh, to run at. So uh, thanks everyone for watching.